What's up guys? John here from Asshole from the Wheelchair. Are you ready for this accessibility how-to series? If so, break that like button and show your support. Before we go on with the video, I want you to do me a favor. You see that like button down there? Go ahead and hit that if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel and get the notification bell for future video updates. And if, if you're ready for this accessibility how-to series, let's get rolling. <laughs> video i want you to know that we're not in our normal as told from the wheelchair studio we are actually outside on my wheelchair ramp filming this video and sorry for the noise in the background guys we have some discussion going on behind us so please pardon that also before we get on with the video i want to introduce what? our brand new cameraman mr jesse holmes who is joining the as told from the wheelchair team effective immediately he's going to be able to help us film some more amazing stuff for you guys to get on the channel guys thanks for watching let's get on with the okay. tips let's talk for a little bit about the history of the ada ramp law according to ada law all residential wheelchair ramps should adhere to a 1 by 12 slope ratio meaning for every 12 inches of vertical ramp you have or vertical uh incline you have one foot of ramp as you can tell there's probably about a foot or more of ramp right here so now I'm going to teach you how to go down this ramp very effectively so what you're going to want to do I like to put my hands back here and then sitting up keep an eye on your surroundings and this is how we're going to do it you can see that was as smooth as silk going back up that's going to be a different story and we'll discuss okay. that in a second here's what we're going to do to go back up now just a second ago i said that going down will be a little bit easier and it was easy as you could tell but here's what we're going to do for going back up you're going to do exactly the same thing as going down just in a different order put your hands back here and I, what i like to do is when i start I get my knees as close to my chest as possible, and then, like this. You see? It's easier going up when you're at an angle. So, that was easier. Now, in a second, we're going to come back, and I'm going to give you guys some housekeeping tips on how to keep your ramp stable and clean okay so for those housekeeping tips every six months or so with your ramp it should be mandatory in your own way to pressure wash your ramp if it's wood as you can see behind me my wood or my wheelchair ramp is wood it is untreated wood and i erroneously mentioned in my last video that it was georgia pine it's not georgia pine but it is untreated so as I said, every six months or so, take a pressure washer. If your ramp is wood like mine is, go in there, you know, take the slope and make sure that it's clean, free of debris. You don't want anything like, you know, snow, dirt, dust, algae, the, the works, gumming up your wheelchair ramp and making it slick. Cut. If you'll notice, my ramp also doubles as a deck. So you'll see handrails along the top edge of the ramp and you'll see no handrails along the slope of the ramp because on my ramp especially it would be difficult to have handrails along the slope because you're busy with your hands on the wheels so you wouldn't want to have handrails to mess you up so that's why i have my ramp the way it is guys that's it for this how-to accessibility series thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe comment favorite and go lift up somebody who's down and remember, your, your situation, situation may be hard, but there's always someone like me ready to lift you up again. Guys, I'll see you on the next video.